up you guys welcome back to my channel so we're doing an unboxing today surprise surprise but we are doing an unboxing on four figures that I'm not gonna lie I was a little bit of a hater on before they're just they're different types of figures they're like I, I guess I should just show you guys so we are doing an unboxing on four Watch out figures by Good Smile Company. Um, all right, so I have four Bungo Stray Dogs ones. I have Octagawa, I have Atsushi, I have Dazai, and I have Chuya. So if you don't know what a Swatch out figure is, basically it's 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 just like a basic Nendroid that just sits in a chair. That's like the simplest way I can explain this. So, <laughs> actually, I have a little example. So, recently I got the re release of this Atsushi Nendroid. So, this is what a regular Nendroid looks like. It's got all the parts that you can switch out with, um, and it's got different face plates, right? But if these are too pricey, I guess, for you to get, you can always get the alternative, which is the Swatch Out figure where you can't switch there are no extra parts to switch out with yeah so it's just kind of a simple figure but it's a cheaper alternative so if you really want the atsushi nendroid but can't afford it you can get a swatch out figure i hope that's how you pronounce it that's how i'm reading it so i also feel like <laughs> this video is kind of out of date because i feel like if i was going to make a video on these things i should have done it <laughs> when they got announced so this isn't really a new concept it, it's not super old either, but I've, I, I still feel like it's kind of late for me to make a video about this, but I'm doing it anyway because this is the first time I decided to give these guys a try. <laughs> so, I don't know. At first, I was kind of a hater about these when they first got announced because I was like, what's the point? But obviously, the point is if you can't afford the Nendroid, you can get these as an alternative. And also, the more I thought about it, the more I kind of like the idea just because that even if you could afford the Nendroid and even if you do own the Nendroid version of these guys, you might w still want these because you might want to display them elsewhere. So like in my case, I was kind of thinking about bringing these to my um, work cube at my job and displaying them there. But I'm really scared to bring any of my like anime merch, especially figures there in case it breaks or I don't know in case somebody bumps into something while they're talking to my talking to me in my cube but these are like cheap so they're not I can always get another one they're like 20 bucks I believe each so even if it does break it won't be like oh my god I have to go buy another one and I can't really afford it right now these are just I don't know I feel like <laughs> you can feel more at ease displaying these anywhere you want right even if you don't even if you display them at home you don't have to really worry as much when breaking these guys either. This I feel like is also really good if you kind of display Nendroids but you never change their parts ever. So they're just sitting there and you're paying for extra parts for nothing that you're never going to touch. This is a good alternative too. Although the only downside to this is that they all get like default faces, right? So if you don't mind the default face and you're never gonna switch out your Nendroid parts, this would be also a good alternative too. But anyways, I'm rambling on about that. So these are my first swatch out figures that we are going to unbox and I'm going to give you my impression on. Uh, I know they've gotten mixed like opinions when they were first announced. I guess mostly because people were saying what was the point, right? But we're, we're, we're gonna see, I don't know, we're gonna see how I feel about these. So without further ado, please make sure you like and subscribe and let me know what you think about these, if you own any, and which ones do you own? And yeah, let me know, let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start off with Daz eyes. I also really like how small the box is. <laughs> um, really saves you on shipping, okay. So, first when you open it, you get this <laughs> beheaded Dazai on here. 
the instruct okay so it's pretty cool that the instructions are actually on the box instead of them printing out a separate sheet of paper that you might lose on how to put them together but i'm sure it's also really self-explanatory oh there's also instructions on the side too that's pretty cool right saving trees already let's see okay So I don't know if you can see that, but they're kind of, sec the parts are sectioned out and divided. That's pretty cool. I kind of like that. Alrighty. <laughs> Alright, and Dazai's head is in here and it's just wrapped in bubble wrap like that. And then he's also wrapped in plastic here. Oh, okay, so I did not know this, but his head does come apart just like a regular Nendroid. So I'm guessing if you do have the Nendroid 2, you can use those parts and switch them out. But that's only if you have both, I guess. But that's still pretty cool. Or I guess if you find somebody that's selling an extra spare faceplate of his, I guess you can buy it and, and switch it out. That's pretty cool, okay. I just assumed because he doesn't come with extra faceplates that you couldn't really switch it out. Alrighty, now we have the body. This is so cute. Okay. So that's just his sitting, sitting body position. Super cute. <laughs> I love how his hands are like flared out like that. And I guess this is just removable. So the hole stays open. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we connect his head to his body and it's pretty snug in there. Nothing's loose. You can also turn it so it's not completely still, which is nice. Um, but you can't have them face up or down. It's kind of the only way it turns is like side to side, left to right. So there he is. And then we have his chair. Okay, so it comes with the chair, right? So with the chair, you can either have all four legs on or you can remove the two back legs by just pulling it off. I guess it's just for if you want to have them sitting on the edge of your shelf instead of like in the middle of it. So if they were on the edge of the shelf, they'd probably be at risk of falling if you displayed them on the edge with all four legs, right? So that way if you take out the four back legs, that way if you take out the two back legs, they can just hook to the to the edge of the shelf. It also comes with, I'm so confused as to what this is. It comes with, okay, so it comes with these like, what are they, not like stickers, they're like, oh maybe it's a magnet? I really cannot tell you guys. I can't really tell with the instructions. Think you can hang them? <laughs> I wanna say you can like stick them to your wall. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know enough about these things, but that's the, that's the impression I'm getting. Yeah, that, yeah, that's the impression I'm getting. I'm probably wrong. If you have one of these, let, let me know what this is for. But I, I mean, I don't know what else it would, it would be for. So I'm not gonna use that. Uh, I'm just gonna have him sit on a shelf. Okay, so in terms of pushing him into the peg, it's a bit difficult because it doesn't exactly line up. I don't know if you can see that. You probably won't be able to, but do you see that? <laughs> The peg does not line up completely to his back, so I feel like you have to bend the peg a bit. Like, it does not fit into it. Okay, so I got him in. That was not fun at all. Also, it seems like he doesn't, the peg doesn't go all the way through his back, so it kind of just looks awkward. <laughs> Literally looks like something is stabbing him in the back, but I guess you won't be able to tell if you have him sitting like that face to you, but still I feel like what was the point of that? I also had to lift up and kind of bend the peg up a little so it lines up enough to fit into his back, which is kind of scary because it's plastic and it could possibly snap. Uh, this was not fun. I feel like this is supposed to be it is easier than putting a Nendroid on, but like also still frustrating a little um, and scary, but he's on there and he does look cute. <laughs> Paint wise, I think it's less detailed and a, maybe not a, not maybe not messier, but I think in terms of like highlights and whatnot on his hair, I think there's less of that. And I'm only comparing this because I don't have the Nendroid yet. I have it pre-ordered and I think it comes in next month but 
Comparing him to my Dazai Nendroid doll, which I think the Nendroid doll also has the same face and hair as the regular Nendroid, the doll has more highlights in his hair. It has He has more lighter spots on there versus this Swatch out that only has like darks. I'll put them side by side so you know what I'm talking about. Um, and then in terms of his body, it's a little plain. There's not much shading. It's very bland. I also just noticed <laughs> you can move his feet, which is kind of cute. A little a cute, I don't know. I think that's just a little cute addition uh, to make up for the fact that you can't, you don't have any extra parts. So that's pretty cute. I kind of wish you can cross his legs one over the other. Kind of like how he sits in the show sometimes. Um, and then you can also move his hands up and down. It's very cute, very basic. It's not meant to be this like <laughs> game changer, I guess. But yeah, I mean, it, for, for what, it's, what it costs, I think it's super cute. I don't know. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and unbox the rest. Uh, let me put all of his stuff away. You also do get an extra neck joint, uh, so that's good. So now for Chuya, and obviously there's not gonna be much to say about the rest of them after I unbox <laughs> the first one, cause I'm, it's the same concept really. Like again, same instructions except his face, his face is swatched out. Oh, this is gonna be interesting cause I wonder how his hat goes on. Here's Chuya's head. Super cute. I literally love how his hair <laughs> curls on his face and frames his face. It's so cute. Okay. He's so cute. Okay. And then we have his hat, of course. All right. Let me put them together and then we can we can talk about him because I do have something to say about his hat. <laughs> okay. So here is Chuya. <laughs> He's so cute. Cute. I love the, the hat that he wears so much. He's so goofy. Okay, so a couple things that I noticed. One is the chair is a lighter color than Da's eyes. I'll put them side by side so you can see, but it is a lighter brown. Um, I don't know what that's based off of. I don't know, maybe Atsushi's will be the same brown as Da's eyes and Octagawa's will be the same brown as Chuya's, maybe because they're in different organizations is what I'm guessing, but probably not, so I don't know. I really don't know what what made them choose to make his lighter. When it comes to the pegs, Dazai's peg is like a completely straight line. Chuya's has like a little dip right where it starts to come out of the chair. I don't, I also don't know what the thought process behind that was. I don't know why it makes a difference. So if you know, let me know. And then with Chuya's hat, I was kind of worried on how they were going to execute it. And I'm glad that they executed it the way that they did. Because usually when it comes to Nendroids and stuff going on top of their heads, like, like a hat for instance, usually they'll put like a very thin piece of plastic stuck to the underside of the hat or whatever and you you fit it in between you fit that plastic in between the two hair plates and it kind of sits like that and i really hate that um that's what they did for the uh chuya airport version and i absolutely despise that i hate it never fits in right it comes out it's super loose like there's like no point to it at all also it's really hard to tell if if that piece of plastic is like stuck in between right i don't know it's just it's so annoying to me but like octagawa's airport version doesn't have that he has the same thing that they did with this swatch out which i like so much better so on the underside they have just a sculpt kind of a little imprint sculpt of the front of Chuya's hair. And so when you put his hat on, it just fits in there. It just fits and it doesn't come out. And you can tell when the hat is placed correctly, depending on how it sits with his like hair mold. And that's it. It's, it's so much better and it's so much easier. And I don't know why they just don't do this with all their Nendroids. I like it so much better. <laughs> So I'm glad that they did that for this one. I don't know how they executed the original Chuya Nendroid. Uh, I have him pre-ordered, so I'm waiting for him to come in. Uh, and I guess I'll see then. But hopefully it's the same thing as this. I hate that piece of plastic, you guys. 
Um, but other than that, he's super cute. On to the next one. The next one we will do Atsushi. So we'll go Detective Mafia, Detective Mafia. All right, Atsushi's next. I really do like the, how small these boxes are and how organized they are. I just have to say that again. It is so easy to just put everything and clean everything and put it all back in place. So nice, okay. Um, and there's no blister boxes either, so. Um, here is Atsushi's, again, same directions, just different face. So I'm gonna put this together and I'll be right back. Okay, here is Atsushi's. Atsushi's chair is also the light color that Chuya's is. So I don't, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Does does I think he's different? Yeah, that's kind of like the whole point. But like, what? Why is Dazai's? Maybe Octagawa's is the same as. I don't know. I don't know why his their chairs are lighter than Dazai's. He thinks he's special. That's all I can. That's all I can come up with. I do like how. Atsushi's belt is draped to the other side of the chair. I think it's kind of a really neat touch. Um, I love that. It kind of like circles around to the other side and drapes down. I think that's super cute. Again with the peg, the peg is has like a bigger dip than Chuya's did. So I don't, I, I still don't know what the reason for that is. Super cute. Let's move on to the next one. Oh, I also haven't so far had a problem putting them into their pegs uh, since Dazai's. So Chuya's was fairly easy and so was Atsushi's. Dazai's is the only one I had an issue with. Surprise, surprise. Um, but yeah, okay. So let's move on to Octagawa's. Everyone take a gamble. Is Octagawa's chair gonna match Dazai's? I say no. Instructions, it's Octagawa's head. You know the drill. Uh, let's see. Let me show you this. All the heads are placed in this larger section, right, of the box. Octagawa's head has this little, I don't know, one-ended blister on there with like a mold of where his head is supposed to sit, right? The rest of them did not have that. So there's no blister here, it's kind of just the head, and it just sat in the bubble wrap. Same with Chuya's and same with Atsushi's, I'm not gonna open them up, but trust me. <laughs> um, so I don't know, I don't, what, I, I'm confused. Maybe it's because of the little baby hairs stick, I don't know what they're, they're called, I'm just gonna call them baby hairs. The little baby hairs sticking out of his head, and they wanted to make sure that it, I don't know. I'm just pulling out reasons out of my ass. All right, and as always, I will put him together and come back. <laughs> okay, so now we have Octagawa on there. If you guessed that his <laughs> chair would be the same color as Dazai's, you guessed wrong. It's the same color as everybody else's. Dazai is just the black sheep of the group. I don't know why his chair is darker. He feels so out of place and I'm pretty sure that is not, I'm pretty sure they didn't do that because of his personality or his like, I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys, I don't think they, they would think that, <laughs> I don't think they would think that far through with Dazai. I don't, I don't know. Something's telling me it was a mistake, but maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong. I, I don't know. <laughs> he is a pretty popular character. So I guess they did take his, odd personality or unique character into consideration but anyways uh the peg it's got the same exact dip as uh chia's uh, i do like how just like atsushi's his jacket's belt drapes on either side of the chair so you got one on the uh, right side and you got another draped the other side draped on the other side of the chair i don't know why <laughs> he looks so <laughs> Actually, I do know why. Octagawa, <laughs> I've seen a lot of people say that Octagawa's swatcho looks awkward. I don't mind it only because it's Octagawa and I feel like his character in general is just so awkward when it comes to being casual and not like ripping things apart. I just, I just, 
I think he's an awkward character in general. Especially, I feel like it would especially match if you have him sitting next to Dazai, where he's like by his like mentor, ex-mentor that he like, he looks up to. I, I feel like this is very fitting for Octagawa. So I'm not mad about it. Also, he has like his fists clenched. <laughs> Oh, he's so funny. I absolutely love him. Okay, so I also just realized, because I'm goofy as hell, that instead of taking this back two-legged piece out, you can actually take it out, put it back in, but put it horizontally, so you don't have to put it back in the box. Okay, so I just, my big brain just realized that because I saw it on the box, because I was actually paying attention. Um, okay, so final thoughts on these figures, these swatch out figures. Um, I think they're pretty cute. Would I replace them with actual Nendroids? Probably not. I feel like they're less detailed, and if you really care about detail and whatnot, then this, this is probably not for you. Um, the only way I would recommend this is a if you don't care about the detail and the you know how the paint is painted on there um, and also if you only want it so you can take it out with you and display it elsewhere like your office space or I don't know when you, uh, on your car dashboard or something I, I don't know but in terms of replacing nendroids at least for me I I really wouldn't consider it I don't know um, the only other way I would recommend this is if you're so keen on collecting every piece of or every figure of a certain character that like you even want the low quality ones. Do you know what I mean? Like these aren't low quality, but they're lower quality than an Android, right? Which is understandable because they are, again, they're cheaper. But yeah, I don't know. I personally would not replace them with an Android, even though I never changed my Android face plates or parts. They are cute, they're super cute, they're not horrible. I, I don't think they really deserve the hate that I've seen some people give them. Um, I don't know, yeah. Also, if you're starting off collecting and you don't know if you want an Android or not, I think this is a good, this is a good starter, right? So if you end up liking these, it can only get better when you get an Android. In terms of paint and detail, and not <laughs> and not putting the damn thing together uh, so also if you don't have patience to put an android together this is so much easier there is a little bit of a struggle I guess with some of them I only had a I only had trouble fitting Dazai's peg into his back but you might experience that with other characters too but yeah I don't know the struggle isn't as bad as in androids also if, if, if it breaks it's 20 bucks you know you, you can always get another one um, I don't think I also don't think you have to really worry about an aftermarket price on these guys like skyrocketing right <laughs> I feel like with the nendroids it, it, there's more of a chance that it I mean I've seen them skyrocket but I feel like with these at least they're at least not there yet yeah so <laughs> do I recommend them yes and no I don't know take what I said it, it, it really depends. So, so I know that's like not the greatest conclusion to come up with, but yeah, it, it depends on what you're looking for really. So those are my thoughts. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Um, let me know whether you have any, or even if you don't, let me know what your thoughts are. Like I said, I kind of hated on them way too quickly before thinking about what people can actually use them for um but now I, I understand i get it i get it i really do anyways let me know in the comment section below what you think uh i hope you enjoyed this video please make sure you like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one which is hopefully hopefully soon bye bye guys <laughs>